Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. It's September 16th, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess here to report on a relatively quiet day for the grains. Take a look here at the iPad though to see where the grains closed out today's trade session. We saw corn up three quarters of a cent, soybeans moving lower down seven and three quarters. We had Chicago wheat down four and a quarter. If you haven't taken a look at our great iPad trading app yet, visit us over at grainhedge.com. You can take a free two week trial. It's been a great tool for producers during planting uh, and it will be once again here as we enter harvest. So take a look if you haven't yet. Uh, if we look at today's trade action though, as I said, a relatively quiet trade in Chicago. Take a look here at this chart. We have the December corn contract uh, on the top here and below we're looking at a 10 period moving average of daily volume. You can see that when we're looking at that 10 period uh, moving average of volume, we're at some of the lowest volume levels that we've seen really since April. Uh, and throughout this week, it's been just a quiet trade, not a lot of news to push markets one way or another. Uh, Tuesdays in particular though, we don't get a lot of uh, fundamental information as well. So not atypical on a Tuesday, but today in particular, very quiet trade. Soybeans just continued to drift lower. If you take a look here uh, at the weekly chart of the November contract, we're still looking for a downside objective of around $9 on this contract. If you turn your attention though to corn, it remains a little bit differently. You can see that we had some lows uh, back in 09 and back in 10 uh, around current price levels. So there's an opportunity here to find some technical support. Low side of the trade range does sit around $3 and we have a lot of analysts looking for a low in this corn market between $280 and $3. Technically though, it's different than soybeans. We're finally entering an area, as I said, where we could find some support. One thing that's been getting a lot of attention here uh, really for the last week and a half or so is the possibility of a frost freeze threat uh, across parts of the northern grain belt. And you can see here, this shows low temperatures projected for Thursday of this week. And you can see that most temperatures, uh, even on the low side, are gonna be in the mid 50s to, to uh, high 40s here. So not a big possibility uh, of a frost freeze event. And if you look out toward the end of the month, uh, as we approach October, we should see uh, quite a warm mass of air across the northwestern grain belt. Uh, odds are we're gonna be seeing seasonally warm temperatures there. So we're not looking for a frost freeze event event to really help these markets find some footing for, for much of the rest of the month. Should remain a relatively quiet trade month. The next big event on the calendar here is the October uh, 10th USDA WAS report. Obviously traders are looking for a uh, possible another revision out of corn yield as this corn crop has finished off very strong here uh, from talking to producers really across the grain belt in Nebraska all the way out to Indiana and Ohio. So keep that on your radar. But as I said, relatively quiet trade today uh, in the grains, a mixed trade. Corn found a little bit of support. Soybeans uh, continued to show weakness. As I said, if you haven't taken a look at our great mobile trading app, it's a great tool here as we're entering harvest. Visit us over at grainhedge.com if you want to take a look. Or as always, call the office, numbers 877-472-4607. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.